Every time I play Tetris, I always start out completely cocky and arrogant. I mean, it's Tetris. Everybody's played Tetris before. My grandma plays Tetris, and she's fucking dead. Even people who don't play Tetris know what it is. It's such a simple idea. Things fall down, you make lines, and things break. In what dimension could that possibly be hard? Now, that's how I used to feel, but the thing is I hadn't really thought about it. What you have to understand is that anything you do could compromise you for the entire round and could eventually be the thing that kills you. Nevertheless, Tetris always turns out to be a humbling experience for me. I'll be doing okay for a while, and then I'll make one stupid mistake, and eventually they'll all pile on thick and fast. And that's the thing. In a lot of other games, if you make a mistake, it's like, oops, that's alright, I can get back from this. But the thing about Tetris is that you could have a plan going. You see, it always tells you what the next shape is going to be, and from that, you'll make a plan of action in your head. But if you put something in the wrong place, the plan is immediately garbage, and you have to think of something new on the fly. Like this. You see that? You see what I did there? You know why I did that? because I'm a fucking moron, and now the game is over. It's incredibly addicting because you just know that you can do better because it's always a little thing that gets you. It's a game that's constantly driving you to rise above yourself and kick your own ass from two minutes ago, and all of that is amplified exponentially in Tetris 99. Now again, when I first played this, I thought, hey, come on, it's Tetris. How hard could that possibly be? And then I kept losing every round very early on. The thing is, when you do good, you send garbage rows to other people, but to a certain degree, you can choose which people. It's not just your own skill, it's the skill of everyone else, too, and the chance that one or many people may be trying to kill you. And yes, there is a solid chance of three or four people ganging up on you, whether intentional or otherwise. When I first played this, I thought I was doing something wrong, like there was some special mechanic that I wasn't aware of. It simply wasn't fathomable to me that I could possibly be bad at Tetris. I mean, look at all these four lines I keep getting, but nope. Turns out there are a lot of people who are better at Tetris than I am. But what's with all these attackers? How is this shit fair? And that's when I realized that I fundamentally misunderstood the game. Listen up. Tetris isn't fair. You can be halfway decent at the game, but when the game decides that four people should just gang up on you, you're gonna have to live with that. If you can, which you can't, because you're garbage, like me. But every once in a while you start getting further, maybe you got bottom 90s, but next one we're talking 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s, and it's just taunting you with that possibility that you'll get number one sometime, at least once. And that is what makes Tetris 99 so goddamn fun. You can take solace in the fact that you're not the worst guy playing, but at the same time it just begs you to do better and to just keep outdoing yourself with the promise of getting that number one spot one day. It's a game that literally forces you to get good with absolutely no compromises, and that's what makes it truly fucked up. Now here's an idea. Tetris Fear 99. Oh.